so many different varieties. Which wheat bakes into the best loaf of bread? We use hard wheat for a yeast-based product like bread to give it that strength to allow it to withstand the high temperature and then set as a loaf of bread. In a cracker or a cereal, you don't need that structure. Bread making is chemistry 101 using flour and yeast. Mix the two together and the yeast will consume the carbohydrates and sugars within the flour. This process generates energy in the form of carbon dioxide gas. Because of its elasticity, the gluten protein left in the flour traps the gas, causing the dough to rise. Now keep in mind, this is really exciting because bread in itself, at a point in the operation, it's alive. We actually have yeast that's growing. Few realize the importance of wheat flour, like industrial bakers. Oral wheat has been baking bread for almost 80 years. They know that there are few, if any, more iconic symbols of home health and happiness than a loaf of bread. Here, wheat flour is the vital ingredient for the 12 million pounds of baked goods produced each month. You know, we as bakers, the main ingredient is uh, flour. So, and everything we do is based on flour. Americans consume over 100 pounds of wheat flour a year. Much of that in the form of bread. There's about 53 pounds of bread that's consumed by the average American consumer every year. So when we look at that 53 pounds of bread, we want to make sure that we're giving the consumer bread that's healthy and nutritious. Ever wonder how bread bakers perfect their recipes? They can't taste every loaf, so they test the flour. This tells us about the quality of the flour. Uh, what kind of loaf of bread is going to be produced if we use this flour? It's got a mixing bowl, which can mimic what is going to happen in the bakery. It tells us about the mixing tolerance index. How, how strong is this flour? Is it going to take the stress in the mixer? So, without strong flour, we'd have weak bread.